Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin Edition. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are, finally not doing the DLC after, like, what, 10 episodes or so? 11? Let's see, 4, 4, 5, 13 episodes, jeez. Anyways, we're gonna go over here and just... Oh, <laughs> Not do that. Whoopsie. Oh, man. Whatever. This episode's going to be kind of short anyway, so I'm cool with it. We're going to go through and we're going to clear out the old, or the dark chasm of old, which is part of the, part of the Pilgrims of the Dark whole covenant thing. All right, let's try and do this at a little bit better of an angle. There we go. We've already opened the door up. And we got that forgotten key, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, shit. That thing just followed me down here. Let me use this. So this is supposed to be open, but it's not. It's like a portal. Maybe I... Your first attempt is supposed to be open for free. So whatever. I'll just offer him a human effigy. Every time you want to enter one of these, you have to offer him a human effigy. Let's go. So we got three of these. Every time we complete one, we get... An and, or we gain a rank in our uh, covenant with them. This is going to be the only other covenant that we max out. We'll look at the covenant stats in the last episode, probably. Maybe in the end game episode. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do like end game stuff in the last episode, or if I want to do like a separate episode for it. This great lightning spear does a good amount of damage to this guy. We got this pyromancer coming up now. Alright, cool. Ow. This wraith is pretty easy. He's pretty weak. So is that pyromancer. Haha. <laughs> oh, I missed. There we go. So that kills the wraith. It's so basically what you have to do in all of these, uh areas is you have to kill all the NPCs and light a giant torch. So you do need three flame butterflies. I should have mentioned that. But you should have plenty. I would hope you do. I have plenty. I'd be really surprised if you didn't. But hey, it happens. And watch out for like holes and stuff. Because you can fall through holes. It really sucks. Alright, here's the Sconce we have to light. See, there's a hole like right in the right in front of you. It gets you all excited when you see the giant sconce, the giant torch, and then you're like, oh man. So, I, yeah, I got 14 uh, flame butterflies. Flame butterflies. I think Chancellor Welliger sells them, or someone someone sells them. Sell like, an inf like eight of them or something, or maybe it's an infinite amount. I don't really remember. Let's see, do I have another enemy? I think this one was, yeah, this one was, in my opinion, I think the most difficult. So I'm trying to do these in the order of difficulty. Because at the end, you're going to have to fight a boss, and if we do the least difficult last, then we have to, because you have to clear, if you die during the boss fight, you have to go ahead and clear through it again. Which was really stupid, I wish it would take you just to the boss fight. That'd be wonderful. This guy, I'm just gonna wail on. Oh man, he's so close to dying. Ow, oh, it hurts so bad. Your fireball. Ah. Uh. The dude was outmatched. 
And we have one more Wraith. I don't know, maybe the next one would be the hardest. I know one one of them's definitely the easiest, and I'm saving that one for the last. For my strategy. See, if you don't kill all the NPCs, then this foggy wall won't go away. Or whatever. <laughs> you can't uh, exit, so we're just going to exit. Alright, oh yeah, let's talk to homeboy. Homeboy. Devotion to the Covenant has deepened. Young undead, the dark beset upon you runs deeper than I had imagined. Let us see just how much dark you can endure. You have seen dark that has existed from times long past. What once was a great void of darkness became but fragments. But slowly, the scattered fragments grew, absorbing all things. It is we who will be pilgrims to these sacred sites. Resonant soul. Alright, dude, you're creepy. This is weird. This is a weird covenant. I think I like some of the other covenants better. Anyway, I'm going to drop off over here. Drop off down here. And this is that really dark area with the giants, where you get the first giant soul. Uh, make sure I don't miss this cage. Next episode, we're going to obtain... Well, we're going to get one of the giant souls, actually, this episode. Spoiler alert. <coughs> but uh, next episode, we're going to get the last three giant souls. And what you need them for is for the King Vendrick boss fight. Let's see, where am I? Oh my goodness. So that leads into the boss fight over there. So that means that the bonfire is right here. All right. So the next area we're gonna go to is Drangle Castle. Drangle Castle. Drang Drangra. Uh, uh, is it the Forgotten Chamber? No, it's under Drangle Castle. We got a bonfire here. Remember back in Drangley Castle like 20 episodes ago, however fucking long ago that was. It was a while ago. Feels kind of like yesterday, but I don't know, whatever. Alright, so we're under Drangley Castle. Here we go. Oh, this time he'll let me. Maybe it's the last one that you find. You have to find all three and then that one gives you your first shot at getting in, so. Alright, well let's just get right to it then. But if I die, I'm going to have to use a human effigy in order to re-enter it. Alright, so you gotta be careful here. So as you can see, there's like... You gotta, you gotta watch the path. And this one winds around to the right. You don't wanna just head right in all willy-nilly. Right out the gate. Alright, made it through that. That wasn't too bad. Too bad. But now we got a couple of NPCs. I'm going to try and aggro only one of them. Alright, good. I was going to try and knock him off the edge. But I do a lot of damage to him, so I don't think I need to do that. He's wearing the same armor as me. Cool. He knows how to look good. Alright, so we got a couple of other NPCs over here. Oh, we got a Wraith. Look out for that hole on the right. That takes care of that. There's the other NPC. Ah. Oh. Just hoping I can shove him in the hole. Jump in the hole, but that's fine. I'll just combo him into oblivion. Idiot rolls right into my attack. What a moron. Alright, gotta be careful. Here we go. There's a hole right there off to the right, too, so don't hug that wall too hard. <laughs> I almost went in. Is it raining 
outside right now. It is raining. Nice. I love a rainy. Rainy Saturday morning, although it's about to be noon. It's like 1149 is what my clock's reading here in Michigan on this Saturday. Let's go ahead and light this bad boy up. We got one more NPC, I believe. Before we can get the hell out of here. These two paths lead to the same area. See? Spits you right back out. Yep, here we go. Alright. Putting the shield up. There's a hole here in the center, so look out. There we go. Finally pushed someone into a hole. And it feels good. Feels so damn good. Let's go on to the third area now. Which is located in the Shaded Woods. If you remember, I found it completely by surprise. I mean, I knew it was there, but I didn't mean to get to it quite yet. I'd kind of forgotten that it was there at that point, but I knew it was there. It's weird. Oh, yeah. The embrace of the dark is gentle. Let it absorb your sorrows forever. Okay. So that's all he has to say. Oh yeah, that that creepy creeper. All right, so we got that out of the way. Let's now go to the shaded ruins, woods. My bad. Or yeah, the shaded ruins inside the shaded woods. So I guess I was right, the way I was doing it, doing it. All right. So we're just going to run past this clown, and as you can see, we can see these guys now because we got that Eye of the Priestess. So we can see invisible enemies. We can also lock onto them now and fight them. This is really the only area that I find is going to be useful for that, <laughs> for finding that item because we found it so late in the game. Would have been nice, I guess, if we would have found it earlier, but whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and head over here. That's the entrance to the boss fight with Scorpionus Najka, or whatever her name is. And here's the third location. Finally, you are not young. Okay. The most if you here's a human effigy. Alright, so he's got nothing new to say. Let's go ahead and hit up this last shrine for the dark chasm of old. And then after this, we're going to go and fight the... Um, dragon that ancient dragon up at uh the dragon the dragon shrine actually <laughs> so from one shrine to another all right this one's probably the easiest but we do have a snazzy boss fight afterwards so be aware of that try and conserve your items make sure you go off to the left here whoa there's a little pit right there all right so we got these clowns Hanging out, having a fucking good time. Alright, cool. I aggroed the Wraith, so that's good. We'll take care of him first. Alright, now I've aggroed the other two. Shit. Alright. Push him off. Oh, come on. Yes. Got him. Nice. Gonna use one of these. I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Woo! Alright, and that's all the enemies in this area. That's why I said it was the easiest. Well, there actually might be like a wraith. Alright, no, there's one guy left. There's a pyromancer left. My bad. There's still one left, but they're all like easy like that. So yeah, I guess I did them in the order I figured was easiest to hard or hardest to easiest. That way we can, because you have to fight all of them again and clear out this whole area again if you fail at the boss fight. But there we go. We lit, we lit the third torch. Once you light a torch too, and if you die, then it, it stays lit. You just got to kill all the enemies and get through the area. So let's move on down. 
The enemy is very weak against lightning, so it's going to work out very well for my character. Very happy about that. I also went and bought a bunch of repair powder off camera from uh, Chancellor Welliger in Dreng Lake Castle at the entrance. Bought like 13 repair powders. He sells an unlimited amount, so that's a good spot to get him at. Alright, so this is going to drop us right into the boss fight. I think I'm going to use a bright bug. Use a bright bug. Let me use this. Boost my faith. Use that. Got my faith ring. Get my lightning clutch ring. Alright, let's kick some ass. Or did I lose my boost? I did! Wow. I don't know why I used a bright bug again. I shouldn't have. Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This will do a shit ton of damage. Alright. I'm just wasting my time right now. My resources. I fucked up. When we get down to about half health, it splits up. Alright though. Just give it one more of these. Yes! I was like, oh my god, how am I missing all of these? So yeah, the, the second one will still kind of get a spell off, so you gotta look out for that. Woo! Holy shit. I wasted that bright bug though. I wasted the shit out of that. Oh man. It's all good though. I wasted two of them. Let's get out of here. I'm done with this dark chasm of old nonsense. I got a dragon to go kill. And that's going to give us our second uh, giant soul. So yeah, spoiler alert, the dragon <laughs> is actually a giant in disguise. I guess is the easiest way to put it. So now we are rank three. Great resonant soul. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, and he gives you the dragon uh, chime. Which is going to be my new chime once I get the hell out of here. This just leads us right back out to the bonfire. Nice and, nice and easy. Probably have to kill this loser first, though. I remember when these guys were an actual threat. Not anymore. I'm so strong. Alright, back to Majula. I gotta spend some souls and level up my dragon charm. And then get it, uh... Oh, I need to get it infused, too. I need to infuse it! Should just go to... Yeah, I'm gonna go to McDuff's. I'm probably not gonna have enough uh, souls to level it up all the way and level myself up, so that's fine. I'm just gonna upgrade the shit out of this dragon charm. I think it casts spells faster, and it seems a bit stronger. But I mean, you know, you gotta do some some intense stuff for it. <laughs> All right, reinforce. Was that all the? Did I take ten nice shards? All right, well, let's infuse it. Yeah, I guess it did take tight night or twingling tight night. All right, infuse it with electricity. Yes. Look how much stronger it is, and it casts more 
It just weighs a little, weighs a little more, but that's not a big deal. See, I still have my good roll. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I should uh, show you my stat and changes too. Give me one second. Let me sort through these items real quick. Put that soul away. Keep all that other stuff. Oh, I gotta unequip that. Boom, there we go. Here are my stats. Put my life at 40, my endurance is at 30, my vitality is at 42, which gives me a high enough equip load. See, it's 67.9% to where I don't really have to worry about it. I could probably go one less, but I went with 42 because that's what my other character had. Uh, two men I kept at 20, strength I kept at 20, I knocked my dexterity down by one because it was pointless. I took all my points out of adapt adaptability that I put into it. So I didn't think it was as important as my other things. My faith is only 55 right now because of my faith ring. So basically I took points from my adaptability and my one point from dexterity and a bunch of health points to raise my vitality and my endurance. And that's the little switcheroo I did there. I should actually re-equip rings, ring of blades. See, I don't need the royal soldier's ring anymore, so I get to equip other rings that are awesome. There we go, I'll just do this. This works for now. Put that away. I guess all these rings I need. Yeah, okay. Get rid of these hexes, I don't care about that. Alright, cool. Whoops, need to travel. To the Dragon Shrine. Shrine entrance. Oh, wow, I do have a lot of souls. Never mind. I should go, uh... I should go level up. Shit. So I can level up once, at least, right? 42. Yeah, I should probably go do that. What should I put the point into, though? Man. Probably gonna do endurance. Or maybe health. Hmm. Alright, from here on out, I'm gonna alternate between endurance and health. I'm gonna do one point for my endurance. And then next level, I'll go health. So we're not gonna level up a few, like a whole lot more after, <laughs> after well after this episode actually. Probably level up like once or twice from this boss fight right here, which is actually a pretty easy boss fight. It's kind of broken. I'll show you how to beat him with relative ease. He does what the other dragons do. He just kind of like steps. Like if you stay by his feet, he'll just stop, and all you have to do is dodge the whole time. It's ridiculous. But yeah, we're going to take him on alone. I'm definitely going to buff myself. Try to make the fight a little easier. I'm going to use that last bright bug I have. The hag sells them for like 48,000 right now. I was trying to bait that guy into some attack. Ah. Ah. Sorry, he can't fit through that door, though. We'll just open up this one. These guys won't do anything. They're scared. Y'all won't do anything? Y'all won't do nothing. Let's go around this guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, I haven't attacked him yet in this file. This will be nice. Hey, you're not a real dragon. You're a fake dragon. He's like, what are you doing there by my tail? I'm like, don't you worry about it, pal. I wonder if this does, like, double. I don't know. Fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. I don't think there's really anything else I could take. Oh, let me... Fire defense. That'll be good. Definitely good against him. And fuck it, I'll use this route. Why not? 
All right, let's do this. All right, get behind his feet. Stay on the insides, too. Oh, shit, he's flying up. Unless he flies up. When he does this, you're kind of fucked. You're going to get hit by the fire. Then he comes down here. If you tag his feet enough, he'll stop. And then you just roll over to the other foot. Tag the shit out of it. Oh, God, he hit me. I got to heal. I should not have used two. Always try and leave one, I guess, for a roll. Oh man, thank god he's like moving forward. It's like if you can get a solid five off on him, he'll do the stomp. At least for me, that's what's working. There were six right there. It's such a broken boss fight. Told you guys. That's why I was like, man, I'm pretty confident in this now. Oh shit. Yeah, he'll he'll breathe fire like in between his legs too. Almost dead. We're getting there. We're getting close. There you go. This should be the last cycle. Oh, I was wrong. This one will be the last cycle. I wasn't like doing a lot of damage to him. I don't get it. That was weird. All right, well, anyway, he did, and maybe because I was attacking his toes, his nails. Is this game keeping track of that? Soul of a giant, petrified dragon bone. See, he's got a soul of a giant on him. I should have equipped my silver serpent ring if I was smart, but I'm not. So let's go ahead and I'm going to warp back to the bonfire, probably rust up a little bit. Yeah, this is about a half hour long episode. Nice. Good. Glad I added that death right at the beginning, too. Just for funsies. Alright, so yeah, we've cleared out Majula. Cleared out every... We've cleared out all these, except for the Force of Fallen Giants. You can see there's also one more bonfire down here that we need to get. We're getting that next episode, so I hope you're excited for that. Hyde's Tower of Flame is cleared. We cleared all of this out. All these are cleared. Cleared. This whole row's cleared. Uh, this whole row's cleared. This whole row, no, we got one thing to do here, and we're doing that next episode, actually. So we're going to clear out Brightstone Cove, Seldora, and Force the Fallen Giants next episode. Uh, besides that, every other place is cleared now, officially, except for up until uh, the Shrine of Amana and the Undead Crypt. All these places afterwards are all clear now, officially, too, even the DLC. So we just have those four regions left to revisit. I guess we technically have one thing left to do at Dranglate Castle, even though the region's not Dranglate Castle, but the bonfire is that's near it, so. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go back to Majula now. Fast travel there, I'll throw a few points into some stats, show you guys what's good. I think now that we have completed, uh... Before I do that, let's go Let's go talk to What's-Her-Face, too. I want to see the Covenants now that we've completed this Covenant. Before I forget, where's she at? There we go. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Alright, Covenants. So yeah, we're ranked 3 in the Way of Blue, and we're ranked 3 in the Pilgrims of Dark. So, hooray. I think I'm going to go rejoin the Way of Blue. The Way of Blue! Ooh, ooh. I wonder if I can get... No, I'm not going to be able to get three levels. Maybe I can get three levels out of this. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to be part of the Pilgrims of Dark. 
yeah, abandon that shit. Get me out of here. I'm done with their fucking games. Making me warp from shrines into dark chasms where I gotta light torches and fight phantoms. Shit. Oh my god, really? A hundred short? Wow. Oh my goodness. I don't have any souls to use either. Alright, well I'm just going to end the episode here. I'm going to go kill one of those pigs over there in the back and then come back and level up. You already know what I'm going to put the point into since I'm alternating. So anyways, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. My name is Brian and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.